If you know, you know. And what do you know? Tank got called out by Ryan Garcia. He stated he wanted that fight. And he called him out on his social media. Now, in my opinion, Ronnie Garcia, he got to get way more polished before a tank fight. And even his promoter know that. When Oscar De La Hoya got asked about a tank fight with Ryan Garcia, he responded with, <laughs> Tank is a beast. And that's all she wrote. And he kept it moving. So Oscar knows that Ryan Garcia ain't ready for that fight. And that fight won't happen anytime soon. And the way Ryan Garcia keep his chin in the air is a massacre ready to happen. Tank Davis will do to Ryan Garcia what he did to Nunes. How he knocked him out in the second round in the inside while Nunes was being careless. That will be the faith of Ryan Garcia if he don't correct his mistakes. And that's a tough fight for Ryan Garcia knowing that Tank could crack and got hand speed just like he do. However, he's a dog. So I don't know what... Ryan Garcia seeing Tank Davis that makes him think he all sweet. Obviously, uh, Javante Tank Davis is the biggest name at the 130 pound division. Everybody calling him out. Now he got to step up. He called out Tevin Farmer. Hopefully that fight happened next. That's a great fight in my opinion. Hopefully Floyd Mayweather let Tank Davis fight Tevin Farmer. Uh, we all know Floyd is in control of Tank Davis' career. And he picking his fights and he stated... In the past that y'all shouldn't criticize Javante Tank Davis. Criticize me if anything because I'm his matchmaker. Now I find it funny when people criticize Floyd opponents claiming that he's a cherry picker when you can't name a fighter for the past three decades that has a better resume than Floyd. But y'all gonna criticize Floyd Mayweather as a fighter? Criticize him as a promoter? No problem. But not as a fighter and his legacy because... When Floyd was undefeated and pretty boy, he fought everybody, called out everyone, Chase, Oscar, Mosley, to the 154-pound division. And like I stated time and time again, there is no better resume than Floyd, at least not for the past couple decades. So y'all can't criticize Floyd May with a resume, criticize him as a promoter. However, Tank Davis need to let Floyd know, hey, I got to get these fights with Lomachenko and... Tevin Farmer, etc., etc., and if not, at least call out Lomachenko or respond to him whenever he clowns you in the media. You know, that's a must. You know, I, I could care less if you fight him or not, but at least respond to the man what he got to say. Keep the same energy with Lomachenko that you do with Tevin Farmer, and that's all I'm saying. So, Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, he's still building his resume, he's still getting polished till he wins a world title, then we will hold him accountable. But he got a long way to go. I mean, Tank Davis, the fact that he won a title at 22, shows you what kind of talent he has. So he has the talent, he just needs the fight and the big name. So we'll see. Like I said, you know, I'm not really too big on Tank versus Ryan Garcia right now because it's not going to happen. And Ryan Garcia ain't ready for it. So Ryan Garcia seems like he kind of... Um, Cloud chasing, calling out Javante Tank Davis. Now, if he do want to step up, more power to him. I will give him his credit if he does so. But enter at your own risk. So, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb by the second, don't and listen to these casual fans. And subscribe and follow Lantoon Boxing on Instagram. He got the funniest boxing memes that you can ever find around and follow me at Aki TV and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live and to be continue on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out of here.